Good morning, everyone. It's Amy with Mama Bear Blue. Welcome. We are live, and it's Mondays with Mom, and I'm here with Mom. Oh, I forgot your name. Oh, Debbie. <laughs> this is Debbie. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Let's see if we're working here. Yeah, we appreciate you giving us a thumbs up and sharing the video out if you can. So this is a fun one today. We haven't done this in a couple of years. Um, this is making the sea glass look with uh, DIY paint and salt wash. So salt wash is a paint additive and you can do all kinds of different effects with it. Um, you can do weathered wood. I've done, we've done like aged patina that looks like um, it's been by the ocean, not sea glass, right, but right. The, the other one. Actually, I have a little booklet here. Uh, the Verdigree, that was that was it. Sea glass, weathered wood, faux cement, rust. I've done all those. I have videos on my YouTube channel um, doing some of those as well. So let's hop right in and talk about how we can mix up the salt wash and water and DIY paint um, because there's just a couple really pretty colors of DIY paint that are perfect for beach. Right. Beachy, beachy look. Beachy look. Yeah. Um, Okay, so I mixed one up ahead of time. I just mixed up white, and I'm going to show you. I'm not going to show you guys the reveal yet, as far as how these look. But if you saw the picture on my Facebook page, you probably already know. <laughs> but it's really easy to do. So you just want to take a cup of water, and I have about four ounces of water in here. Um, I like to use warm water. I feel like it kind of dissolves the salt wash a little more, and it doesn't have to be exact because you know it's about about four ounces, and that'll make quite a bit to do several bottles. What we're going to do is spray these onto glass to give a really pretty beachy look. Um, okay, so we have our water in there, right? Mm -hmm. About four ounces. We're gonna put about two ounces, which is about, if you buy the big thing of salt wash, the biggest one, this is the 42 ounce. It comes with a two ounce scoop. That's probably just a little short, but that's okay. And you're gonna do the same thing. You probably have just enough. Okay. If not, I can open another can of it. <laughs> And we're gonna mix that up just a little bit and then put in our paint color. So really you can do these in whatever color of paint you would like. Um, for the beachy scenes, the greens and the... I, there's enough in there, I just yeah, gotta I scrape it. Well, we can also just like uh, dump it in there. Okay. So once you get that mixed up a little bit, you wanna go ahead and put your paint in. So we've got four ounces of water. Or, Four ounces of water, two ounces of salt wash, and then we're going to put about, about a half an ounce of paint in. We're going to mix it all up and fill it um, into, or fill, fill our spray bottle with it. So I'm using, the original one I mixed up was white, so it's already ready to go. White Swan with the water and the salt wash is there. And this one is going to be mint chip. So I didn't get anything to actually measure a half an ounce, Mom, but like I said, it really, it's kind of till it looks like the color we want it. So if you can. Okay, you're probably good to put in your old. So I'm using mint chip, the green. It's a really pretty light green shade. That's probably good. <laughs> so it makes a really, this mint chip makes a really pretty beachy green shade. And mom's old 57 will be a little more turquoise, but it's really beautiful too. And mom, I'm going to add just, did we use all the salt wash up? If we did, that's okay. Did you get the rest? Okay. I just need a little bit more. This for a tiny bit more texture. Are you, you think you're all good? I think you're okay. We'll just use that up. All right. <laughs> Hold on, the white's still coming out. There we go. Ooh, it's pretty. You got it? Okay, so what you'll wanna do is just spray on a light coat. And I always put it on, um, we have these craft trays, which are nice, and then some paper towel so that it's, it's kind of getting absorbed. So just put a light coat. You can twirl the, this around, Mom. It makes it easy. And then stop, and you're going to actually use the heat gun to dry that, or if you want to just take your time and dry it on your own, you can do that. We're going to use the heat gun, and hopefully, um, get <laughs> hopefully not be so loud you guys can't hear us. Let me get this first coat dried. The weed jars on the bottom have a little indentation, so they always hold a lot of the paint, and the heat gun will um, move that right out, and it'll drip right down the sides. I love this look. And I have a full-length video of this um, process on my YouTube channel already, so maybe I'll share that link for you guys, because... 
it has a lot of extra things that I did to, to the decor that made it look really cool. Beachy. The reason you want to dry it is because if I would have gone right on with a second coat before it was dry, it probably would have reactivated that first coat and it some would slide off. But that's pretty good. You want to do yours? All right, so I'm going to go back in then with that again. And you don't have to have full coverage unless that's the look you're going for. I kind of want to want, I kind of want some not as thick so that the light, because these are going to be votive holders for candles. So, so the light is showing through. We have a couple bottles. We have a, just a clear bottle. And then I have this really pretty green glass, which I think we're going to use the, um, that's water now. Coming out. <laughs> I cleaned oh. it. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I forget what I was saying. I don't know. I don't know either, but this is a really pretty green glass. So on this, um, it's getting white. This one's going to get, I think I might do the blue that you used. Yeah. Is that one? You can, you can dry that real quick before you move it aside. And maybe I'll give you this one too. We can dry them at the same time. All right. And I'm going to put some more paper towel on. I just like the paper towel on here because it helps absorb some of that. You don't have it all running all over your tray. All right, so this is just clear. I think I'll just do it like this. And I'm gonna use mom's, what she mixed up, this um, old 57 with water and is that spray or stream, Mom? Kind of looks neat with the stream. I really don't know. <laughs> there we go. You had it on stream, I think. Maybe. Oh. maybe so I'm just going to point it stream. down and let it do its, let it run. That looks like candle wax. Yeah, it does. <laughs> but these look so pretty with the lights, um, and I'll show you what you can get from Amazon. Um, for the lights on these bottles are really cool. I know this one might, might actually look good with less, you know, with less sometimes. of the, sometimes less is more. Sometimes yeah. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you just need more. All right, let me dry that. Yours are good. Um, you can like set those aside and I will let you start working on, um, one of the other, maybe this, maybe this bigger one. I think, I think this one, or, so I have a few pieces of this that I keep here around in our, in one of our bathrooms, just because we have a little bit of a, some beachy colors in there. Looks really pretty. Because this is the one you're going to do. Okay. Let's move that out of the way. But this is the white. We just need a bottle that works. I mean, unless, you want to go look and see if there happens to be any more that look like they may actually work. They're under there, over there by the sink. Okay, okay let's put a li just a little bit more of this blue down here where it's just really open. Okay, I'm going to set this one aside to dry. Do you think that one's going to work? <laughs> yeah, test it with some water first. Yeah, might be sure to test your bottles out before you go through the trouble of getting them filled with the salt wash mixture. So let's set that aside to dry. I really love that color. Again, that was the old 57 mixture. Be good. Okay. I think I'm going to do the, the mint green on this one, and that one was ready to go, right? Yes. Yep. This is the mint chip mixture. Letting it run down the sides makes it look like real, like it actually <laughs> organic, like it just, you know, organic. happened. <laughs> it looks it, like water. Yeah, is it working though? Yeah, it's probably the water you tested it with. It's keep thing. going. Yeah, keep, or you can squirt it on the, actually no, on, on here, oh, here. there it comes. Yeah. I think the white's going to look really good on that green. All right. Let's let that hit that with, um, we're going to need to clean your phone screen again. 
But if you have comments or questions, let us know, and I will answer those for you later. I'll also put the links to all these products on the, in the comment section when we're done, as well as the full-length video from YouTube for doing this. That looks cool. I don't know if we want another. I don't think well, we want another one. Do you? Of your green, right? I don't want to cover the green. I really like that. Yeah, I think we're okay on that one. I think I'm okay on this one too, honestly. This, this you could put a bigger pillar candle in. Okay, I'm going to let you... Do that with yours. I'm going to move this aside. And then we're going to talk about the fun little lights you can get from Amazon. Oh, yeah. Um, for your bottles. So yeah. if you do the, the bottles like we did, like this, and Mom's is drying, you can order this little set, and it's not that expensive, of um, bottle lights. And they come with, like, 12, I think, of... They look kind of like wine corks, but they're just plastic, but they have a string of little lights on them. And so you just pull out the little tab, make sure they work, which they do. <laughs> and we're going to put them in there. Let me turn it off till we get this on. But these are really pretty. Like we have a back porch and putting these out there with the little bottle lights for the evening is really cute. All right, you just feed the string down in there and the cork will sit at the top. Um, if your wine bottle or whatever bottle you're using, if the hole is bigger than the top of the plastic cork, I have actually like taped on some, or glued on jute oh, yeah. so that it won't fall down in the bottle. Is yours dry enough to put one of these in, you think? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, <Sorry>. that's all right. <laughs> on, look at that. Ooh. They don't get quite the same effect with the, all the lights on, but it is pretty, especially at night. I love those. White. That was white swan, and then this one was mint chip. And then old 57. It looks like I may have sprayed some white on it when <laughs> a few oh, dots of white. But really, when these are lit up, they look so pretty. Okay, I want to show you guys another step you can do, which we aren't going to do today, but it's in that full-length video <clears throat> that is on my YouTube channel. Um, so the Iron Orca Designs makes a mold called seashells. I think, yeah, seashells, not seashore, seashells. Um, <laughs> no, there, it's wrapped, there's a little end that's wrapped around oh, it. it. Yeah, you might have to put your readers on to see it. Okay, so another fun thing you can do, excuse the price tags on these, these were in my booth. Um, I have decoupaged on with just some, I stamped on a word, this is relaxed because I filled these with bath salts, and decoupaged it on there. And also you can use the Iron Orca Designs seashell mold with resin or clay and make the really pretty, um, you know, starfish, sand dollar shells, and then paint them, and I did that with some gold. And this one was the same, only it had the sand dollar on it. So those were all for bath salts. And this really big one I love. Mm -hmm. Same thing. On this one, I used some jute and just tied it on because I had a handle lid. Tied them on like that. I think those make great gifts too. And this one, I think the lights are out on this because I've used this one a lot. Same thing. Has the little wine cork light with the molds hanging off. These were resin, poured with the resin. So, because it always kind of changes what, depending on the color of glass you use, it would also be pretty to use cobalt glass, mm. I think, with white. Um, this one already had kind of a green, really light green glass. So, when I put the um, white on the, or I think it's actually mint chip, that really looks like it had just come out of the ocean. <laughs> That's lasted a long time. Okay, so let's talk about how we finish these if they're going to be outside. Like, a lot of these I didn't do anything if they're going to stay inside. They weren't really getting wet, so I didn't worry about them. But if, if you're going to have be a lot, near a lot of moisture, what you can do is, and I can go ahead and do it to this one. 
is take a 50-50 mix of clear sealer and water. I don't want to brush it on because I'm afraid I'm going to lose the pretty effect of how this looks. So I just mix up Big Top, DIY's Big Top. It's a clear sealer. 50-50 with water in a little spray bottle and then just mist. And I'll let that dry and I'll do it one or two more times and that will seal that for me <clears throat> so that it will help against any, you know, moisture or anything. That's if you're using it like in a bathroom where it might get steamy or a back porch as long as you're not getting direct weather. If you're trying to use these like outside, outside and rain and stuff, I think you probably will need, you could do the big top thing, but also then put a coat of outdoor, yeah. outdoor waterproof sealer on them if you did that. I have not tested that out yet. So we'll let that dry a little bit. That's pretty. Love that. This is the dark green glass. And again, I'll try to get some pictures <laughs> where the light is. Um, I don't know. Do you want to try to turn that light out, Mom? Sure. Would that help? It's really pretty. But if, if it doesn't show up well on the camera, then I'll get some pictures maybe in the evening where you can see it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. These are fun. Handle. Sounds like a little. Yeah. That'd be good. Thanks. So yeah, save your little yogurt jars. You can make a lot of little tabletop things if you're doing some outdoor parties or something. That's a fun beachy look. And again, I'll put all the links to these products if you guys are interested. It's a lot of fun. This will be a fun one to do with kids. Maybe outside. Yeah, maybe, outside. maybe outside with kids. <laughs> Watching. With Bye. Bye.